In 2 Corinthians 4, the Apostle Paul said, We are troubled on every side, yet we're not distressed. We're perplexed, but we're not in despair. We're persecuted, but we're not forsaken. We are cast down, but we are not destroyed. Did you ever feel like you were going through a barrage of problems that Satan was just coming at you from every angle? I know lately we've been, it's been that way here in the school and our family, sickness in the family and several of my children's families. Uh, uh, relationship problems, serious relationship problems. Sleepless nights, not, not because I was worried, but just uh, being fault with waking up 1.30 in the morning, not going back to sleep, waking up 2.30, not going back to sleep, and then having to work long hours to fill in. One teacher's in the hospital, another staff member has been sick. Uh, we have a, a staff member who's very close relative who was in their household, just committed suicide. And it has been one thing after another. And we could be tempted to think that this is overpowering, that this should be tearing us down. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 12, that lest he should be exalted above measure, he had the, Satan of, the messenger of Satan to buffet him. That means hit, release, hit, release, hit, release. And he besought the Lord three times that it might depart from him. And God said, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. You know, I can honestly say that's what I've experienced. And these last several weeks, it has just been a barrage of problems. Up late at night, uh, comforting people, praying with people, staying up at night, and then coming in and working long hours, trying to fill in for other people, trying to substitute teaching, trying to fill in in the kitchen in all areas. And it's just been a high pace, high pace, high pace. And you think, well, you can't do this because you've, you've had very little sleep. But you know, I can honestly say that my strength has been made perfect in my weakness, that God's strength has been made perfect because I'm not carrying myself. Jesus Christ is carrying me. You know, the old saying is, oh, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. It's just burden upon burden and it finally gets too much and the camel's back breaks. But you know what? When we do what the Lord said, he said, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. Every time a burden comes, we say, I'm not carrying that. I refuse to carry that. This is not for me to carry. I cast it on the Lord. Another burden comes. I refuse to carry it. I'm not designed to carry it. I'm not able to carry it. I cast it on the Lord. You'll never get to a straw that breaks your back if every time a straw is put on your back, you cast it upon the Lord. I'm not going to carry these trials. I cannot carry these trials. I'm trusting you one day at a time. I'm trusting you one moment at a time. Lord, take this burden. It's for you to bear. And you roll your peace on me. You give my, your strength to me. And I'm taken through by the power of Jesus Christ.